Make a bird soul pole. The Lascaux cave paintings are a group of more than 600 wall paintings in a big cave in France, made by people who lived there about 17,000 years ago. That's a long time. The paintings are mostly of animals that lived in that part of the world at that time, some of which are now extinct, like this Megaloceros, a species of huge deer whose name means great horn in Greek. There are other creatures painted at Lascaux, like bison, cows, horses, even a rhinoceros. But there is one painting I want to focus on today, which features something unusual. In one of the paintings at Lascaux, near a painting of a charging bison, is a man with the head of a bird. Next to him is a bird on a pole. What on earth could that be? Some people think it is a magic staff and that the bird represents the soul of the person who holds it. That's a pretty magical idea. Let's make one of our own. We're going to be using paper mache in this project, so you'll need grown-up help for that step. First, though, we're going to sculpt the shape of our soul bird using paper and tape. I like to use newsprint because it's thin and easy to mold, but use whatever paper you have around. Newspaper, magazines, and even just scrap paper work great. In fact, scrap paper is especially good because it's going to be hidden away beneath the paper mache anyway. In this step, we're aiming to get the basic shape of our bird. I'm basing mine around the bird in the Lascaux painting, but you are certainly welcome to be inspired by something else. There's no need to cover the whole thing in tape, but you also don't want to use too little. If there are a few little spiky bumps, that's okay. Just get it smooth-ish. And don't forget to make the pole. Now that the basic structure is complete, it's time to paper mache. This is the point when you should pause the video and check out our tutorial on how to make paper mache. Remember, grown up help is required for this step, so go bug an adult near you. You can use any kind of paper for this step, but I especially like newspaper and paper grocery bags because those are things you're likely to be able to find easily and it's an opportunity to turn waste into something beautiful. Before you use any goop, however, it's important to wet and crumple the paper. This activates the fibers in the paper and allows it to stick more easily to the base, creating a stronger final product. Once your paper is wet and crumpled, apply some paper mache to both sides. You want to cover all of the paper, but you also don't want it so goopy that it falls apart or droops. Finding the right ratio for you takes practice, and what a better time to do so than right now.
Now that you've covered the whole puppet in paper mache, it's time to let it dry. After that, you can apply another layer of paper mache if you want it to be super sturdy. You can also paint it if you want. If you do decide to paint your bird, I recommend a thicker kind of paint like tempera or acrylic. Watercolor might be too thin to show through, depending on the type of paper you have used. But if you've used a light colored piece of paper, give it a try. Once your bird sole pole is finished, carry it around with you wherever you go. Not only will it protect you and give you a bit of magic, but the people you meet will learn a lot about you just at first glance. Thanks for working with me today.